Hello and welcome back to another Plan With Me video. So I am going to be using the very last week of July in my ANN planner. So I thought I would use an ANN, uh, ANN meaning Avalon and Ninth planner kit. So this one is the June 2022 mystery and it is like backyard barbecue kind of. There's a daytime scene and a nighttime scene and I thought this was really, really pretty. Perfect for the end of July because this is the kind of, it's been a nice, beautiful month. Um, we had a little bit of rain in the beginning, but the rest of the month has been absolutely gorgeous. So I thought that this one would be a perfect blend to just end out the month. So I am going to be planning the very last week. So it's the 25th to the 31st. And it's one of those nice months where it ends at the end of the week. So Sunday is the 31st. So then the month of August will start right nice and fresh on a Monday. So these are all the pages comes with a ton of pages plus you got squiggles and some date dots so um yeah I'm just gonna start throwing stuff down I've got a ton of stuff off on the sides here so I can kind of lay down everything that's going on this week because we got back from our uh, trip to San Diego on Monday so I've got flight information I have a new sidebar thing that I'm using that's really really cool and yeah I'm just gonna start laying stuff down so one of the favoriteest things that I found in this kit, so there's so much here. I'm going to use it in my B6 as well. And there is some B6 uh, washi that is off to the side that I didn't bring over. And then there's also these I forgot to show you. So this also came with two rolls of washi tape. So I'm not going to use this one, but I definitely want to use this one. I love this. Washi is absolutely gorgeous. And these are the same size. There is no like smaller one. So it's going to have to be kind of trimmed down. Let's pull it up. Ooh. Get me a corner here. So we're going to have to trim these down. So we'll put this one on this side. And like I said, um, yeah. This is the last, so it's going to wiggle around a lot because this is literally the last page <laughs> right there. So this is a pocket that I put on the back pages of these, and I keep these covers and replace so I can change out my covers in my new planners if I want to. But these are like the extras from, uh, I think, the monthly kit that I used, or it might be, nope, this is one of the weekly kits. So these are the extras that I had left over, and um, I kind of stuffed those in the pockets just so you know what's back there. But that's it. And then it's the back cover. So it's going to be a little bit squashy back there. Um, slide around a bit. So here, put this one down and then trim it. So this is, let's see, what's today when I'm doing this? It is Tuesday. Actually, it's Wednesday, technically. So this is the day where I need to turn my clock around because we've been um, on vacation this week. So... I work night shift normally, and we go back to work on Thursday. Uh, so I'm trying to turn my clock around so I have to stay awake. So I'm going to torture you <laughs> by doing these 1.15 in the morning plan with me. Uh, and yeah, so here's what's going to keep me awake. Um... So we, oh, look at this. It's just gorgeous. I love this. Love, 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 love. So put that one off to the side because we definitely want to use those check boxes. And then I'm going to grab some date covers and just throw them up top. One of the things I love about Amanda's planners is these are small. So if you want to use them, they're great. If you don't want to use them, they're super easy to cover up. Um, like if you want to do the decorative type of of covers like this. Uh, the other planner that I use, the TPC planner, is um, you really do have to kind of work at covering them up sometimes, and sometimes I'll forget to bring my whiteout, but I can guarantee you that when I don't need whiteout, I will remember to bring it. So <laughs> whenever I do the planning in the TPC planner, I always forget to bring the whiteout, and you really, really need to white out your covers, your um, the printed dates, if you're going to use stickers over the top, because those guys, those suckers are huge, which is nice if you're not going to use date covers because they stand out and you're not going to totally ever wonder what day of the week it is because they're bold and big and beautiful. But if you're trying to cover them up with date covers, not so much. So these are perfect. 
there. So there's all of my days of the week down. So I have some like fun. I'm going to keep that over there. I have some fun new and I don't, I know this doesn't match that, but if you look at the kit, there are different variations of green in here. So I thought I could get away with this color green because I, this is a, um, like a little sidebar for planners. I don't have a blog, but I do kind of keep track of what I'm doing in the Facebook group. Um, on here and then it also has like notes at the bottom so it's kind of cool I'm trying it out just to see how I like it uh, I got it um, it's called thank sis <laughs> like thank you but think and then sis like sister and it's on Etsy and it's a printable shop so I printed off a bunch of stuff that I thought I could use. One of the things I actually was looking for was this, and then I found a whole bunch of other stuff. So I've got my flight information from Monday, and I used that same color so I could pull it in. But um, anyway, yeah, so that's one of the things that I wanted to try. Then let me grab one of the ones that I'm going to put up here at the top. And oh, this really pretty fruit one. Mm, this looks good enough to eat. Oh, that's gorgeous. Gorgeous. One thing about Amanda's kits, they are fabulous. Okay, so then I also have from Caffeine Queens, I thought maybe we could get away with um, using the green one. There's going to be a lot of green in my sidebar, but I thought I could get away with using the green one here. Whoops. And if you hear like any weird noises, it's kind of hot in here, but I had to turn the fan off so that I didn't like, you know... That wasn't all you were listening to was my fan blowing, but uh, um, I feel like those are too small. Hold on. I might have to do a small one. Hopefully I don't have a lot to say <laughs> because, uh, yeah, mm. that... Me. Sorry, it'll take me a second to grab it because this sheet is cut just a little bit too far, which I do all the time. So you just have to grab it just right, and it's all good. There. So I'll just put a one word highlight of the week in there. Maybe I'll just put the day and then I can refer to the day. But there's the sidebar. Looking good. It's looking good. Then I'm going to start working on this. So I like the night scene. So I want to put the night scene on the weekend. And I think in this one, I don't know if I want to do one of these things. So since I'm probably going to do that, let's do the, we'll do like a day to night thing. So we'll start at the top with this one. And then bottom, top, bottom, top, and then bottom. Yeah, sure, why not? I don't think I've ever done one like straight up and down like this before. I'll probably hate it and then never do it again, but give it a try at least one time. So on Monday, we came back from our trip. So we went to um, San Diego Comic-Con. I'm going to save this sheet for my B6. So I'm not going to use any of those. I'm going to put that off to the side so I don't accidentally grab something off of it. Um, anyway, we went to San Diego Comic-Con. Uh, we were gone Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We flew home on Monday. So the flight was great, but it was a late kind of a late flight we didn't actually take off from San Diego till seven o'clock at night so we didn't get home until like 11 11 o'clock at my house um, and I was so stinking tired by the time we got home but I wanted to see all the stuff that I got so I unpacked I unpacked all the bags laid everything out figured out what all I got and just like loved every second of it because I got some really cute stuff and I thought about doing like a Comic-Con haul, but then I thought, you know what? You guys aren't here for that. So <laughs> I didn't, I didn't bore you with it. It's bad enough that I pull in my non-planner stuff into my planner hauls with my Scentsy and my Lit Joy crates and stuff. But I, I thought maybe the Comic-Con thing was going a little too far. So I did not do a haul on it. Don't worry. You don't have to sit through that. But 
um, I can tell you that I got some really cool stuff. Really, really cool stuff. And we had a really good time. It was so packed with people, like always, but I think it was, it felt a little more this time than normal, mainly because of um, the, the fact that it's been out. So this is the first year that it's been back since uh, the whole COVID thing started. So we get tickets pretty much every year, but there hasn't been one for, uh, like I said, years. So uh, everybody who had tickets when it was canceled the very first year of COVID, when they were canceling all the flights and canceling everything else, so they canceled Comic-Con. And that year, um, everybody that had those tickets... I don't know. I can't get this off. It's going to make me angry because I'm not good. I'm not very good at when the thing is cut super. I get so frustrated with my own kits when I cut them. See, they get cut like a little bit too deep. I get so frustrated with my own kits when I do this that I throw them in the trash and I just redo it because I can't. I can never grab it right. And then I just pull it off and then I end up with like this whole thing where I spend 20 minutes just trying to get the back off of it. It's just frustrating and it's not anybody's fault it just happens you put a new blade in I don't know if anybody has cutting machines or has ever used like silhouettes or cameo um, silhouettes or what do you call those other ones uh, cricket cry cut cricket whatever you call it circuit I don't know what it's called <laughs> anyway the other one if anybody's ever used those before if you like you're constantly having to change the setting of the blade depth so that this doesn't happen because as the blade you use the blade pretty much constantly um it starts to get dull the blade and when it gets dull you have to change it out or change just like constantly be changing the settings on your on your machines and when you're somebody like amanda where you've got you know eight machines running at the same time it's really difficult to always catch every single thing that comes off of it that's cut too deep so uh yeah i have no issues with it being cut deep at all like i can totally deal with it it's just frustrating when you're um trying to do a plan with me <laughs> and you can't get the stupid things to come up because you're you're not you're not good at it so this page might end up me, me not being able to use this page, even though it's one of my favorite pages in the entire thing. I may not be able to use it. Yeah, it's not looking like I'm going to be able to because I can't grab a corner off of any of these. You know, all of them are doing it to me. Sometimes I can get lucky and just roll one corner up and I can get it, but not this time. Not this time. Nope. Turn it. Well, heck. What are we going to use instead? So, I guess we can use one of these. Now I got totally off track of what I was telling you. So I'll have to just think about it for a second and get back to it. There's that. Then there's these ish to do's, which I was using that to put like a script in there so that I could do my all of those. And then I always like to put down the like what we ate. Like today would be Monday would be interesting because it was pretty much um, we spent the day with my son before we left because he came down and was like our chauffeur while we were down there because we never rented a car. And uh, we put him up in the hotel with us. So we got him a room. And I'll put that on this one because this one I did this. And so we, we booked him a room at the same hotel on um, Sunday. So Sunday night. And then Sunday during, no. Yeah, Sunday night. Because Sunday during the day, we went and we went to this place called Seaport Village. And we just wandered around Seaport Village and we went shopping and we ate and got coffee and did all those kinds of things. And um, my husband's dad and his wife came down and spent the day with us down there as well. Oh, I wish I could use those because I really want 
I wonder if there's another one in here that has a color I can use. I'm going to go through all my trusty little... So this one's got a nice dark blue. This one's got a couple of the colors in it I think I can get away with. This dark blue. Because I want to use that. And then there's a dark blue one of these. <laughs> when in doubt, or when you can't do something, just find something else to take its place, right? These will work. One thing about um, Avalon and Ninth that you can be pretty sure of is that if you get the functionals, you will run into the same colors again. So have no fear. You will find the same colors again in your kits, and it will be super easy for you to just pull in stuff and not have to stress out about not having, like if one of the pages is like that, where it's cut deep and, you know, you can easily find another set of functionals to take its place. So it's not a big deal. Anyway, back to my story. So we went to Seaport Village and while we were at Seaport Village and shopping and stuff, I got so sick. Oh my gosh, it was horrible. And it wasn't, um, like that anything that I ate or anything that I did it was I think strictly the fact that I've been sick um for a few days prior to going on my trip like I had like the flu or something well I wouldn't say the flu I'd say more like a cold I like a crappy cold and you can tell because it's still kind of in my voice right now and I never really slowed down or gave myself any time to get better. I was just like, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. So I think that really hurt me um, in the long run because I didn't give myself a chance to recover. I'm over here looking through this to see if I can find some more that'll go. This brown will probably go. There's another blue in here that'll go. So just trying to like give myself a couple more options and for colors over here. Uh, because I'm going to pull in some more of this stuff. That one, I probably won't need that. So what else was on there? There was those squigglies. There was those. There's this one that's on that page. And I told you, you can, this is, this is the benefit of, uh, getting subscriptions like this is that you can find all kinds of stuff to, sub sub in anyway there it is right there so sorry I was getting distracted by that so back to my story so I never really gave myself a chance to like just be sick and get better so that was the problem and I, I kind of knew it was going to happen uh and my husband that poor man so at like 11 o'clock at night in the middle of downtown San Diego, he's having to go to 7-Eleven to get me medicine because I felt horrible and I needed him to get me something other than what I had because what I had wasn't working. So he's such a sweetheart. He totally just ran down to the 7-Eleven and picked me up some medicine so that I could sleep. Actually, it was probably more so he could sleep. Let's be honest. It was so he could sleep. So I put that down. I didn't put down a food one for that day, which is stupid because we needed to eat and we did. And I didn't write it down. Um, we actually ate out. Me and my daughter came on Tuesday and we worked on the new cocoa and fluffs that she's been making for me. So we worked on the new ones and for the August release, and they are super cute. So she only got me one set so far. I was hoping that she'd be done with both of them because she's working on two sets for me. She was only done with one. So she says she'll have the other one done before the sale uh, starts, which isn't until the 11th. But I may not have both of them for the new releases, on um, the August new releases for, oh, wait, this is pretty, squirrel. For my shop, you know, when I do the video with the August releases, I may not have it 
the second kit for that, but I'll definitely have the one is done. It's finished and it's um, sitting on my desk and I'm so excited to use it. I can't wait to show you guys it, but obviously can't show you right now because that'd be cheating. Um, I think I'm going to use one of these and I like this brown one. I know this isn't the exact colors of the kit, but that'll work right there. And then this is when we go to work. So for my work days, I'm just going to use what I wanted to use were these. Still stressing and trying, still trying to use them because I really want to use these, but I think I'm going to end up having to go with the other colors. Yeah. Can't. I can't. I can't use that at all. And I thought I pulled some from the thing, but I didn't. Hang on. Let me get... There was a whole set of blues in here too, but these blues are too... Wait, where is it? I think the blues in here were too dark. Were they too dark? There was like a whole... She did one full release of nothing but blues. Uh, I don't know where they are. Because that ain't it. I have a lot. It might be in my other... It might be in the other one. You guys are probably like, come on, get on with it already. Hmm. Not in this one. Maybe in this one? Yeah, I have to have more than one Avalon a night. But I don't think I have any functionals in this one. No, I don't. I don't have any functionals in this. I don't know what I did with them, guys. I had a whole set of blue. Oh, well. Uh, it's okay, because we're just going to go like this. Right here at the top. And then I'll use these to signify my work days. Because I actually have to go back to work. I was getting a little bit worried because with me being sick like I was, I wasn't sure <laughs> I wasn't sure work was gonna happen when I came back. Even the plane ride, so on the plane ride, like my head Ugh, never felt that way before, ever, ever in my life. And I hope I never, ever, ever feel that way again. But here's what happened. So on the ride up, everything was fine. On the ride down, it felt like somebody had taken Pop Rocks and shoved them in my face. <laughs> like my nose, my eyes, my ears. I mean, everywhere. It just felt like Pop Rocks were going off in my head. And it was the worst feeling ever that I've ever felt before in my life. I hated it. Um, yeah, it was terrible. So, uh, yeah, don't fly if you're stuffy. But I did keep a mask on. You had to wear a mask at Comic-Con. They weren't, they wouldn't let you in without one anyway, so that wasn't a big deal. But, um, when it came to, oh, I want to use the washi. When it came to, like, the plane, that's optional now. But I wore one the whole time. I wore one all the plane. I wore one when we were uh, obviously at Comic Con. I wore one around my um, my father in law, my father and mother in law, because I didn't want them to get sick. So I kept my mask on pretty much around everyone um, except my husband because he was sick before we left. With this, I just was the lucky one to get it, like literally two days before we were leaving. Two days. It was easier to do it this way. I just wanted to use a little bit of sparkle in here. I should have brought this washi in over here too, so that it was like at least in a few places on more than one page. So I don't know. I don't know. Oh, and I didn't put my flight information over here. Darn it! I'm, I cut that out just just to put it in there, and then I didn't do it. Well. Crud. I can put it. Hmm. You know what? I'll put it under the ideas and notes at the bottom just so that I have it. I just wanted to use it for memory keeping purposes so that I could write down like what time we flew, what time we landed, because actually this time there wasn't a single issue 
every other time that we've flown lately or tried to fly, it's been an issue. Either our flight gets canceled and nobody tells us, or, you know, they cancel everything, not just our flight. So this time it went off completely without a hitch. We didn't have a single problem with the flight this time. And so I want to actually mark that, that everything went as planned and it was surprising. So I was actually pretty excited. So I'm going to put that there. And then um, I'll just use one of these because she's got a couple of these things being adult shenanigans, workity work to do. So I'll put a to do right above this one. There. So I got to go back to work that day. And I think I grabbed, I may not have grabbed my work stickers. So I'm just going to have to remember. Mm, yeah, I'm just going to have to remember. She's got these ones that says being an adult and stuff, but I'm going to use those as headers in the rest of it. Then these are all work days, so nothing exciting going to go on here. Tuesday, like I said, she came over and we worked on our new releases, the hand-drawn kits that she's doing for me, which, like I said, are absolutely fantastic. And... Um, I got into the TPC sale again, which is fantastic. Uh, so I worked on swaps. <laughs> this day was cutting and packaging and shipping swaps with 15 other shops. So I try not to do that to myself and I try to kind of limit the um, number of swaps I'll do because that's about 50 pages for me to print and cut along with all the other stuff that you do. Um, so it does take up a little bit of time to get it done. And I'm put a not gonna be hangry right here. So that's crooked. But I got excited and I just took all, I took on all comers. Plus um, I was on our trip when I actually posted it. So I couldn't really monitor the number of people that signed up to swap with me, which wasn't a big deal at all. I need to work one. So I got a few extras, a few more than what I'm used to doing, which was fine. Because last month I had like hardly anybody that I swapped with last month. I was so not on the ball. I missed out on like so many swaps with people. So it's kind of nice to get back, get back on track. So you, whoever shops with me this month is going to have a nice bag, a nice bag. And there's a few shops that I've never um, swapped with before in there. So I'm kind of excited to see what they have. I just want to add the rest of my boxes because I have two on here and I feel like they need to be used. And I know this is totally off, but on Saturday and Sunday, I know exactly what I'm doing. I am formatting kits all day. Every second that I have free is going to be that. So I don't need a ton of space to write a bunch of stuff down on here because I don't actually have um, a lot of stuff that I can like put in here. I'm not sure I like that there. So let's put it here again with the work day. I don't know what I want to put up here. I kind of want another squiggle. Let's do another squiggle. It fits nicely right there. Um, then put this one here. So yeah, having two art boxes in the same one is not a big deal. Do this. I have so many kits to make. I think I'm going to back it off a little bit. I don't think I want to do like I did last month and like just throw out 150 million kits because it's just it's just not it's just not feasible especially with like oh no I knew I was going to do that too darn it it's okay it's okay it's okay I'll do this one Do that one. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, 
I need a work one for this one. What color do I want? Let's do the darker. These totally, like, they, they match, but they don't match. I really wish that other page was functional for me so that I could have utilized it. I don't think this will fit in there. No, it's way too big. But we can put the food one in here. And then we can put one of these right here. There. There. That looks nice. And then the 25th. I think it's 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Yep. Just making sure before I go any further. So I know I'm rambling. I really don't know um, what more to tell you. I wanted to tell you more about actual, like, the vendors at Comic-Con, but since I have two Plan With Me's that I need to put up because I, I have to. I want to show you the kit that I want to use in my TPC planner. And I wanted to show you this one. So you're going to get two plan with me's in the same week. So I was going to give more information about like some of the vendors at Comic-Con and the actual like structure of Comic-Con itself and how it worked out uh, when I get to that other plan, plan with me. So I don't like use up all the things I was talking about right now. So right now what we're going to do is go through here and put down some of, get off me, washy, some of the little extra things that I want to put in here. So I brought, you saw this one. So we've got our wacky holidays. So we got red shoe day. And I'm just going to put them in like little spots where they're kind of at the bottom. So I have plenty of room to write, but you can still see them on there. I love these little wacky holidays. I'm definitely going to order some more from, these ones are once more with love. Aunt and Uncle Day. That's so cute. That is adorable. I just heard my air conditioner kick on upstairs. I'm going to put that one right there. Which is funny because I need to call my uncle. Um, to tell him about the September trip to make sure that we're all, he knows what day we're flying in and all that because we're, st we're staying with him. So it'd probably be a good idea for him to have all of the flight information. Um, so that's a good day to put that on. Aunt and Uncle Day, lipstick day. Cute, cute. Days, day of friendship. This is good that it's on a work day because then I can harass my friend Amy all night. And I'll just keep telling her, it's the day of friendship. You have to be nice to me. <laughs> and then avocado date. Don't like avocados, but this is adorable. I'm going to have my daughter make these. We're going to do wacky holidays with um, Cocoa and Fluff wacky holidays. Yeah, it's happening. It's going to happen. Okay, so Monday was the flight information. I ended up putting it down here, so I'll write it in down here. Tuesday, my little munchkin came to visit while her mama was here. My husband was chasing her around the house, kind of watching her while um, we were working. So I'm going to put this here. So this one is on the freebie sheet from Indian Inker Plans, and I thought it was stinking adorable. So that one's going to go right there for little munchkin coming to play. And then... Funny story, when the flight, I decided to go to the bathroom at the worst possible time. So I'm going to put that right there. So this little guy, I don't know if you can see him, but I'm going to bring him up nice and close so you can see him. So he's like, this is a happy day of sticker. Okay, let me put it behind something there. Isn't he stinking adorable? So he's like all rushing and like out of breath and... I have like the worst timing for going to the bathroom. So as soon as I went, of course, they started boarding the plane and my husband's like freaking out because I'm not there and he can't get on the plane because he's got to wait for me. And he's like, I don't know why, but he stresses out about that stuff. Um, he does. He really, really stresses out about that stuff. Oh, I forgot to use this one too. So look at how cute that one is, a little shopping one. So I'll put it for Wednesday because we have to go. No, yeah, we have to go shopping on Wednesday. But to be honest, on Monday, I went to the Lego store and I bought Legos in San Diego. So there's a Lego store in San Diego that uh, 
is kind of like not too far from the airport. So we went and hung out over there while we were waiting because our flight wasn't until like seven o'clock at night. So we had like quite a bit of time to spend um, goofing around. So we went with my son and we went to the Lego store and I picked up some Harry Potter Legos. That's my hubby's birthday right there. We went and bought some Harry Potter Legos and they have a free gift with purchase right now that's like a promotional thing. And oh my gosh, you guys, you guys, I uh, just, um, just can't even. I'm so excited. I can't wait to use them. Um, cause I actually got one. So I had ordered from the Lego store online and they were out. They were totally out of, but they don't tell you that. They don't tell you that they're out until after you've already bought them, the stupid Legos. And then you go to check out and it's not in your cart. Like the free gift with purchase wasn't in my cart. So I was furiously pissed off. And then I contacted them and they said that they had sold out almost immediately. So um, they didn't have the gift with purchase, but the Lego store in San Diego had the gift with purchase, so I got it. And yeah, I'm really excited. All right, I think that looks really good. I still have some more like little things to put in there as I fill it out. I've got a ton of little icons and stuff and TVs, and I got my Amazon delivery because I'm still waiting for that. I actually got, I actually got one here, but I don't know if I want to put it on here or not. No, I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it, and then. Yeah, I'm going to save those two. I'm so indecisive. I'm, I'm going to stop this, and then I'm not stopping it. And then I'm going to stop it, and then I'm not stopping it. So I got my phone call there. I'm not going to have a phone call here because my mom's on vacation. She's visiting She's visiting my stepdad's daughter. They're in actually in Idaho, but southern Idaho, so they're not close enough to me to visit. But there it is. It looks really cute. Thanks, guys, so much for hanging out with me and listening to me babble on. And I will be back again with another plan with me here pretty quick. And I will tell you a little bit more about Comic-Con when I get back with the other plan with me. So have a fantastic day, and I will see you again soon. Bye.